<sighs> Suffocating in there. Last time on Anthonyx Maximus, stuff. Anthonyx Maximus proven a pushover? A new dastardly bastardly? Is Andy Candy? Vincent lying on the job? Ben and Arthur filled up on Pop Tots? Twink says no to a drink? Anthonyx fall for a pizza trick? And now the titillating conclusion of Anthonyx Maximus review, Ben and Arthur. You just take over Tony's previous episode recap? Damn Skippy, paint about our girl! I'm a boy. We love each other very much. Learning that his holy water potion is the only thing Arthur won't swallow, the evil <coughs> heterosexual victor turns to his dark specter, Father Rabin. Remember kids, in a gay movie, the religious figure is always the villain. Father, um, they told me you wanted to see me about something. I wanted to talk to you about something. The congregation is concerned that your brother's homosexuality may rub off on their children and send their souls straight to hell. I'm going to have to ask you to stop offering your services to this church. So apparently this is the guilty by association church that kicks sinners out. But that's probably a specific rule for the cardboard sector of Christianity. Stop right there, Addison Von Drake. Egad, how did he get back in here? I opened the door. Damn you, Andy, and your quick thinking. Oh well, back to the review. After throwing a world-class hissy fit, the sinister victor returns to his dark master. I need you to help me to kill my brother and, and free him from the demons that possess his soul. Uh-oh, retard alert! Retard alert, class! I know a man that can help you. Soon, master, the blood of homosexuals will spill! Good. Homosexual blood will resurrect me. Then my cardboard kingdom shall rule the world! <laughs> Anyway, our loser heroes are on a honeymoon when Ben gets a phone call. That was the hospital. They need me to get back there. Two of the nurses quit. They have a lot of patients in there. Because f your honeymoon, bitches. Nurse Ben is the only one they can count on. Was there a point to filming a scene of them on their honeymoon? When you're a samurai, bitch, nothing you do in life has a point. Hey, Benny. I'm gonna go to the grocery store. Do you wanna go with me? I'll stay here, but can you uh, pick me up some Twinkies and some Skittles and, uh, oh yeah, and why don't you get some, uh, some soda too? Okay. Acting! Brilliant! Thank you! Thank you! Repeat to me the plan. No, no. Are you sure you can do this? Come on. It needs yeah. to be done quick. You know, it really speaks to a person's character when you actually help the hitman do his job that he's responsible for. But really, the point of a hitman is for him to get his hands dirty. I should know. I have my own sleeper cell hitman. Ha! Ah. Ben. Hey, Ben. Ben, hey. Ben. Stop. Oh, that was a good chicken head. Oh. Hi. Yeah. I need an ambulance. Your husband just got shot in the face. Maybe have some sense of urgency. It's not like you're calling for a pizza. Speaking of which, that damn pizza never came. And there were a few scenes of a police detective, but they really went nowhere. But you get to see Arthur go into stealth mode. <laughs> Arthur is ready to take on Father Rabin. Don't you have a seat and we'll uh, get acquainted. Okay. So is this your first time at our church? 
Oh, chloroform, where would my love life be without you? <sighs> Not much of a fight. And also, did Arthur use nail polish remover as chloroform? Arthur then burns down the cardboard church with Rabin. No curses! My holy cardboard kingdom is burning down! You can't see it, so you'll have to take my word for it. But my evil plans have been foiled by a flaming middle-aged Muppet! This review is over, right? Hey, Tony, catch! Okay, over to the couch. Here we go. Despite his near death experience, Ben seemed to bounce back okay. Now let's finish this shit ass movie. Arthur! Arthur, there's someone at the door! Okay, I'm getting out! Oh, real nice, Arthur. Make your injured husband answer the door. What you say? This joke is overplayed. Well, Ben, aren't you glad you married Arthur? So Arthur can hear the doorbell, but not the gunshot? This selective hearing bottom bitch. <laughs> Little hope that maybe I can save your soul. You accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your savior. Answer me now. Yeah. Then Victor forces Arthur to be baptized. Baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. That things get pretty incestuous and I don't mean that in a hot kinky 1313 films kind of way. Is this what you want? <laughs> you just had to do a gay Scarface reference, didn't you? Is this what you want? Thank you. Here I am. Come and get me. Time to end this shit. Finally, Arthur and Victor shoot each other, and the movie ends on Arthur's bloated corpse. And that was Ben and Arthur, a movie about two gay lovers with a chemistry of a sexy male stripper and an older, creepy patron that pays him to fake interest. And I get it. There are those out there that want to destroy other people's love. 
This boy's family tried to tear us apart, but love always prevails. Let's take some straight. You kidnapped me. Nah. So anyway. Help, you put unless you chip at me. Ah! Ah! I'll go get help. Tony, 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 Tony. Please, we gotta stop Addison. There's only one way to stop him. Ha! One step closer and my twink will use his nails on you. Actually, I want to go somewhere. Don't you dare. Yeah, Andy wants to go somewhere. Stop it, Tony! It's an idea brewing. Don't you dare. Where do you want to take me? I want to take you to a gay bar. I want to take you to a gay bar. Nice job, Andy. Handing me the remote is much better than him handing it to me. Much easier on the editor. I'll get to you next time, heterosexuality. Next time. We make a great team. You're free now. But it's been so long. What do I do? Thonix Maximus has made it through another year of reviewing movies. Michael Bay, I have summoned you to destroy some more work. You know what to do. Yes! If I didn't destroy lives, I wouldn't be Michael Bay. <laughs> what is a review camera doing in here? Next time, and I'm walking right into your crotch. Eat it. <laughs> <laughs>